So, but the thing is that during that night, and by the time I even got to him, he went through so many beers that he was completely like in orbit, right? He wasn't like, you know, fucking sentient. But he's like, you want to play some sets? I'm like, I haven't played in six, seven months. I'm like, absolutely. Absolutely. I'd love to. I thought this was a barista stream. Where's the coffee? The coffee's right here, mate. Watch out. Yigs, please. These are hand ground coffee beans using a Porlex Mini made in Japan hand grinder, okay? Through a Breville espresso machine. Relax. Now the beans, I don't remember what the beans are. I've got a good bag that I left for later. I think this is just Vittoria from Woolies, but the other good ones, I've got them hidden. I'm not cracking that one open yet. Can I see the grinder? I'll grab it. Okay, give me a second. BRB. Okay, we're back. Okay, this is the one. This is the one. Cost me like 60 to 70 bucks in Australia. Um, I found that this is a Porlex. I don't think, I don't know, I don't remember. No, I think this is the Porlex Mini, right? So, okay, let me open it up. This is very nice. It's, this is very well made. I've probably ground probably a hundred kilos of coffee over the several years that I've had this, right? And it still runs like new. It doesn't have any fucking issues. It's built like a tank. I bash the shit out of it every day, multiple times a day to like get the grinds out and everything. That's not a weed grinder, okay? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Give me a second for this aside. So, let me open it up. I don't want anything to come out. So, as you guys can see, this is the container. I would say it would hold two to three shots, like two, three doses. This is the interior. This, okay. This is where you put your coffee in. You fill it in. You kind of eye eyeball it. Like I've done it so many times a day for years that I know exactly how much to put. Pour it in, close the top. And then here, you basically heighten it to make it finer and finer. Through trial and error, you find out how many clicks it takes. The way you start is you wind it all the way out and then you start your clicks in, in, inwards. So you unwind it all the way, bring it on the first click and then say, okay, 15 clicks in is this much, 10 clicks is that. And then you, you have a number and you stick to it. Now, I don't remember. I've, I've kind of been messing with it the past couple months, bringing it tighter and tighter to see if I can make it finer and finer without causing issues with the, um, the way that it pours through the espresso machine. Because you don't want to go too fast because it's too coarse. Coarse is more for like French presses and shit like that. But I'm going straight through an espresso machine. So I'm starting to fine it and fine it before it blocks. Um, yeah, so... You pop that in and then you put your assemble Voltron and then it comes to the handle. You pop the handle here. Yeah. Like this. And then you go to town and then you go to town. And then when you're done with that in the bottom, you'll find some coffee. Pop that in your machine and you're ready to go. And this is good because you can kind of control. My idea is that I like to have the beans whole air locked in a bag. And then I just bring out what I need and I grind that on the spot, put it straight in. Instead of grinding it out and leaving it in a container and then it goes stale over time. I find that if it's in a full bean form, it lives a little bit longer. Because once you grind it up, it just go, it starts to go bad quicker. So it's just better. Yeah, it's the Porlex Mini. So this is made in Japan. I forgot where. Um, but let me look it up. Let's see if I can find Porlex. Let's see. Porlex. That's how you say it in Greek. Mini. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is the one. So, uh, let's see. Rolex Mini 2? What? There's a sequel? Get the fuck out of here. Shit. What's the difference? It's exactly the same. I bought mine cheaper than this. $100. Jeez. Yeah, the box looks exactly the same. But here it says, oh, Porlex Grinder 2. It is a sequel. But it looks the same. Yes? Yes? The ceramic interior, everything's the same. What's special about it? Ah, he see the clicks? I told you. Told you guys. So, fine, extra fine. Oh, okay, so they're starting from the... Oh, shut up, live chat. I don't believe you. You're a bot. So I guess from there, they're saying from like going all the way in and then clicking out. I clicked out from in. So, okay. It depends where how you count it. Time skip grinder. Grind harder. Hey. So, yeah. So if you just do one or two clicks, extra fine. Turkish. 
three to four espresso fine medium question mark <laughs> and then filter coarse and then french press that's how i told you super coarse you just you know that's what you want to put okay two features latest model smoother grinding with an additional 50 percent more grinds per rotation with a more even particle distribution i'm not gonna lie that sounds hot i like that i'm not gonna fucking lie i like the sound of that because i spin for a long time so if i can make that 50 percent less with a more even particle distribution i'm all about that life problem is is that Porlex as a company is so good that this hasn't broken yet. And you know, we live in a time where shit breaks nonstop and you have to buy a new thing every year. But if it's good, you're kind of stuck with what you got. Let me see. Japan Porlex and Co. Limited. Made in Kagoshima. Kagoshima, Japan, okay? 18A, Japan Porlex, okay? This is right under here. Mmm, yes. I'm actually making a coffee at the moment. Nice. With the Breville, same. You, you can't go wrong with the Breville. And that thing hasn't broken either. The, the thing's like, it's like falling apart, but it just still does the job. So I'm winning. And it was a hand-me-down. I didn't even buy it. It was free. I've saved a squillion dollars on coffees done at home for nothing. When you buy big bags of, big bags of beans and you have your own coffee machine, like a cost per coffee is like cents, nothing. And you know, people waste a lot of money going to like shitty coffee shops and blowing money. So yeah, winning. And if you have like a thermos flask, you load it up with coffees, you keep it, go wherever you need to go, it stays hot. Wait for the Paul X3? Maybe. Man, I don't know, man. I'm going to be getting a Paul X20 by the time this one's going to go down. So what's the ceramic? Oh, wait. Travel grinding enables you to take freshly ground coffee anywhere in the world. Well, the thing is I could do that with this. So that's not, that's not a feature, a new one. Ceramic burrs designed to remain sharp for years and never rust. Brew? true true okay same with this one small light and durable absolutely i beat the shit out of this every day i'm not even kidding with, built with durable stainless steel small enough to fit inside an aeropress oh god when i hear aeropress i sigh i cry inside a little bit i cry a little bit inside because aeropress means they read tim ferris they do coffee grinding uh aeropress montages at mountains with drone footage and they all talk about how many self-improvement books they've read while they've still got their whole life in shambles that's what i think of aeropress but i think i i do believe that the aeropress is actually a really good product i haven't bought one but but i do really like it it, look, it looks like a good idea the, the reason i don't have one is because i don't need it but if i was moving out and about and i really needed coffee it, it seems like a good idea if, especially let's say if i didn't have my own house to say I, I'm moving somewhere for a few weeks or a month. No reason to bring a big espresso machine. Just take an AeroPress with you and go for it. I don't get it. Do you know what an AeroPress is? Oh, well, look, Namuni, if you don't get it, that means that your, your soul is in better condition than mine. I'll tell you that much. If you don't know what that means, then your soul is in better condition. So that's good. What's the next one? Light, small, and durable. <laughs> Easy grind setting adjustments. A redesigned step guide grind adjustment allows you to easily switch back and forth between grid settings. Grind settings. This is pretty easy. I'm going to say not much of a difference. French press to espresso. Same. Static free. Correct. It does not. Yes, that is so true. I do bang it around to get it out, but yeah, it does not really stick, which is good. Silicone grip. We've got the silicone grip right here. That's fine. 100% men Japan. Now that's what I want to see. Yeah, dude. Very, very good. Hopper capacity, 20 grams. That's right. I grind around 16 if I have to ballpark. I don't weigh it all the time, but I think I did a weigh a couple times to get a feel. Um, but yeah. Very, very cool. Neo Zong, dude. How's it going? How's it going? But yeah, I got mine for like 70 bucks. And I could actually drove... Because this is normally you have to order it online, but I found a place that had it in store and I just drove by, picked it up, and I... I've been running this bad boy three times a day for two years or some shit. So I'm very happy with it. Very, very happy with it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there's that. Polex Mini, dude. Brought to you by Yigs. There you go. Nice, nice.